there are dozens of terms and acronyms in use today, all of which can fit under this larger umbrella that we can call sustainable investing. The big picture is that sustainable investing acknowledges that there are complex global issues such as climate change and social inequity that can prevent significant challenges as well as opportunities for investors. Here are some common terms that can quickly orient you on some of the common concepts in sustainable investing. First is ESG integration. Incorporating environmental, social, and or governance information into an investment decision. Now, while the acronym is just a bunch of information categories, the term ESG has actually taken on a much bigger meaning in recent years. A client might ask, is it ESG enough? Which is a shorthand for asking, does an investment meet certain ethical, environmental, or social criteria? But it's important to remember that ESG information is just that, information. Each of us needs to decide what to do with that information. For some, the E is most important, so they seek out clean technologies or renewable energy. For some, the S is important and they look for securities that can foster social justice. And still others may choose to focus on understanding a company's ability to govern their own business risks. And anyone could choose to focus on one of these pillars and potentially ignore the others. Negative screening is a process of eliminating certain companies or industries with objectionable characteristics. And of course, there's no standard definition as to what is objectionable. Positive or best-in-class screening seeks to select investments for their positive ESG characteristics relative to their peers. And SRI means socially responsible investing, originally. It, it still means that, but it can also mean sustainable, responsible, and impact investing lately. And this is investing in a manner according to the articulated values of social responsibility of an investor or an organization, such as a religious institution. And thematic investing is choosing companies that provide exposure to certain themes, such as climate action, uh, biodiversity, or, or social justice. All of these can take many forms, and you can potentially layer in other activities, such as active engagement, voting your proxies, or shareholder advocacy. And this just scratches the surface, as this word cloud is likely to get bigger and broader before it gets smaller and standardized. Understanding what these terms mean is a helpful exercise, but a label doesn't necessarily mean that there are strict criteria that meet a high and rigorous bar for investment analysis. But you don't have to wait for broad agreement, regulation, or perfectly clairvoyant definitions of what is what in this word cloud to start your sustainable investing journey. The common thread that ties all of these approaches together is a fairly simple and intuitive idea that I mentioned in earlier videos that there are sustainability strategies that can be good for business, good for the environment, good for customers, good for the communities in which they operate. And it follows that understanding some of this information can be really good for investors too. Terminology aside, you have tools at your disposal, a wealth of information resources, and financial professionals that can help better inform your investment decisions and understand whether they line up with what you want to see in the world and your financial goals.